title of the project is uh, protecting the, the coast and the heritage of Keta using uh, integrated geophysical um, techniques. Uh, so the idea is that we will use geophysics to um, understand the coastal erosion problem at Keta. Because as you know, Keta has had a, a long history of uh, severe flooding, coastal erosion. Um, a large part of the old Keta town itself has been submerged um, and is gone, it's in the sea. Okay, so um, we want to research into how we can solve that problem using different geophysical techniques. Um, and then, so the components would um, understand the rate of erosion. Um, we'd also try to understand how the, the subsurface affects that problem and then how the tides themselves hit the shore and then creates the problem. So we'll also be designing some low-cost instrumentation because it's expensive buying the instrumentation you need to measure those things. So in order to build capacity, in order to also um, try and get some financial um, uh, out of it, we'll, we'll design local equipment, measure the, the data from the tides, and then also um, um, run geophysical surveys to understand how the subsurface is. And then combine all this into an early warning system so that at least before um, disaster strikes, flooding or a storm surge or something, we could, we could inform the community members and then get them to evacuate before that happens. The Navy is very interested in what happens in coastal environments because that's where we operate. We have uh, facilities um, and uh, bases all over the world in coastal regions so we're suffering uh, and concerned with with climate change like many organizations. So my job is to mainly fund research on ocean sciences in the US but ocean sciences is a global science and so we rely on our collaboration with researchers all over the world.